It's one of those things that, unless you experience it, it's very difficult to, um, to understand what it's about. Because normally, if we say we're going to have a prayer time for our set aside a period of time to pray, um, you might think of being in a room and just everybody being quiet, or you might think of being in a room and everybody being terribly noisy, but you don't think in terms of being in a room which is set out with, with light and colour and uh, is, is creative in, in, in the use of its space, as we've got here. We're not experts in this by any manner of means. Um, I guess the way it started was one of our young guys came back and who had experienced a labyrinth prayer time in a youth event and he brought that back and helped us to experience that here. And then of course, because we no longer have pews, we have a flexibility here to use this particular space. And so we just explored and through our ladies days, we would have what we called prayer stations, just little tables or things to help us to, to pray and to think through a theme. And then we just moved from that. We had someone else who'd experienced 24-7 who came and then they helped to us to take that next step, which was to create a whole room that might be set aside for that period of time. We needed to help people to understand what it was all about, that it wasn't just a call to a prayer meeting, it was a call to draw near to God. There's a verse in scripture that we've used a lot that says, uh, draw near to God and I will draw near to you. And uh, that's God says that to us. And we really shared our hearts about how we felt that God was calling us to a place of intimacy with him. We have an opportunity to um, step back from our busyness, from all the noise and the hustle and bustle, and just be still. And the Bible says that we should be still and know that he is God. And that's what we want to create here, an opportunity for people to be still in a place that's soothing and calming and welcoming and allow people just to breathe out a little bit and say, okay, and be still. And just read scripture and just be in God's presence. And I guess that in every prayer week that we've had. We've had people who've been healed. We've had people who've come to faith. We've had people who have just met with God and, and had their hearts touched and renewed, I think, and been refreshed, really, in Him. All very churchy words. But what it basically means is that people have had an experience of God's love and His grace and His tender mercy. And it's hard to put it into words. It's hard to put into words the profound peace that you can feel when you take time out to be in a quiet space and just stop and just say, here I am, God. I've come to, to listen as much as to speak. And that's, that's one of the wonderful things, actually, the profound sense of peace. And God's word says, great peace have they who love your law. And I think that's one of the things that we've experienced more this time, the great sense of God's peace in this place. So, what can I tell you about 24-7? It's just that, certainly I think as a church, we're falling in love with God more. We're falling in love with the idea of drawing near. And we've certainly found how much God longs to be gracious to us and how he rises to show us compassion. Because every time we come, we meet with him. It's very simple, give it a go and just watch and see what God does in your church when you just give him that space. And of course, we're following Jesus' example. Jesus took time out of the hurry and bury and all of the crowds that followed him and all of the demands that were being made on him. He took time to withdraw to solitary places and just be with God.